Hey guys, what's up? I'm back officially done with junior year. So now I'm gonna be a senior. So this is a transition from junior year to senior year. And I got a lot of catching up to do because I've been out for a month and I have very good reasons for that, you know, AP testing, uh, EOCs, whatever, to get, trying to get rid of junior year and it's senior year. Now, next year I'm gonna get out early. I'm gonna have a shorter um, schedule. So it's gonna be like, you're going to school at like 8.45 and get out at 12, so it's good. So now I have more time to actually YouTube my my life. So I get to chase my dreams now. So basically, today's video is about, obviously as you read the title above, but you know, uh, this, is, this is something everyone always talks about. Everyone talks about, oh, the type of people at uh, theaters and stuff, but I have to specifically talk about this for one reason and one reason only. The other day, which was like two days ago, three days ago, whatever, uh, I went to watch Did Direct Nado because it just released um, Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh, um, you know, it was a huge star cast. It was a huge star cast, and uh, yeah, so you know, I wanted to go watch it and did. But what I encountered while I was there is what, oh my god, is what inspired this video. So basically, uh, these are the type of people that you find at theaters. Now, I understand personally that you bought your own ticket and you have every right to do whatever you want, but that's false. You don't have every right to do whatever you want. Because I also paid for my ticket and I deserve the full movie experience that you're taking away from me and whatever. So now we're waiting for the movie to play and people start coming in. Now, this is where the conflict starts. It's fine as long as I'm alone with my family. That's good. We're good. We're watching. But now these other people start coming in. That's when the problem comes in, all right? So here's film type number one. Now, this is the family where you don't bring your nuclear family, you don't you don't bring bring your like, you don't bring your like you know the your parents and then your brothers and that that's it. This is the people that brought their cousins, uncles, aunts, grandparents, the whole thing. There's like 30 people there, took up three rows right behind us, and I was like, wow. Now I'm cool with that, you know. You pay for your movie ticket, you're good. You watch it with your whole entire family, whatever. But the, this is where the problem came in. If you're here to watch the movie, watch the movie. Stop discussing your life for me to hear instead of the movie and I'm sitting here and there's a there's a lady right here has her feet right here bare feet and I'm like trying to focus and she's like going all off with her feet and I was, so I was like why are you doing this first of all your feet smell please get them away from me so I decided you know maybe I'll move and, and it'll stop but this family the whole family behind me is so loud this the, like I hear a conversation over like oh big up I'm not gonna homework yeah like stuff like that like why are you discussing homework and the Go do that somewhere else. This, this other guy's just discussing his like business meeting and whatever. And I was like, I'm trying to watch the movie. I don't think Anil Kapoor cares about what the hell you're talking about. So please stop. Oh my God, don't even get me started with the kid. Now, kids are always nuisances at movies. Everyone knows this kids, uh, so they're always crying. But you know what's worse than a crying kid? What's absolutely the worst thing ever is the kid that their parents let wander around. And this kid walks all around the thing laughing, giggling, talking to himself because he's weird, but that's not, all right, that's not even part of the problem. The, problem. the whole problem is this kid decides he wants to walk into my row in which I'm sitting, walk up to me, and take popcorn out of my popcorn. Hold on, stop. Who said you could take my popcorn? But obviously you gotta be nice and be like, <laughs> nice kid, because I paid for that popcorn and I'm trying to watch a movie. You're disturbing me right now by walking into my role, taking my popcorn, and causing a nuisance to my movie. Now, from the same family right here that's behind me, there was just one person, I don't know who he was, probably some, some uncle or something, he's sitting there, and he has to make a joke about everything that happens because he thinks he's so funny, and everyone around him thinks he's so funny, but his jokes are not funny. It gets me so mad. Like I'm trying to focus in, and there there was an intense scene going on. I forgot what it, what, what it was. There's an intense scene going on, and then this guy sitting right behind me is on my left side. I still remember. And he he says something. He said, uh, "What mood about us serious? Oh yeah." Which basically he said, "Oh no, the mood's getting too serious." That's the point. It's a movie. The, there's com comedic relief. There's comedy, and then there's the serious part, which you're supposed to understand. And you know, this guy is just completely ruining it for me. He says that stupid joke. Everyone else laughs. And I just missed like four dialogues, and I'm getting mad because I'm, I'm not, I don't understand the movie. But the movie's amazing. I was I like the movie. I um I give it a seven out of ten. It was it was good. It was decent. It was nice. It was watchable. But these people behind me, mm -mm, they're probably the reason I took off three points because these people don't know how to shut up. Absolute worst people 
are the people that sit in front of you. They're sitting in front of you and they're not even watching the movie. I don't know why they paid the ticket, but they're not even watching the movie. They're on their phone and you can see their screen and you can see everything they're doing and you're trying to focus in on this, on your movie and you can see from the, from your peripheral vision down here, this person just going off, just going off and you can, all you see is a bright screen. It's so annoying. Please stop. So you can save your Instagrams and Facebooks until later, okay? You don't have to interrupt my movie. Oh, now I also remember this one time I went to the theaters, I think it was watching Kick or whatever, and there was this person sitting a few seats over from me and he had his phone out. No, no, he got a call. He got a call, that's what it was. And he picked up in the middle of the movie. You you hear uh, Samantha talking and you hear this other guy, like, not even trying to whisper or nothing. It's just like, ah, uh, hello? Uh, I was like, are you serious? I'm gonna throw a brick at you if I had a brick. Like, you guys need to chill. Chill. If you if you have a call, if you have to make a call, just please step out. And then you know what's just annoying? The people that get up every three minutes to leave to the bathroom, get popcorn, whatever, and like you, you see a moving. Like if you've ever watched bootleg movies, you know what I'm talking about. The people that are recording in the back, then you see this one person go across the screen, just casually. Nothing's happening. Just people going across the screen. I'm like, what? There is not. I know most of you haven't encountered any one of the things I said. So go ahead and leave in the comments below because I want to know what you've encountered and something I didn't mention because that. I really want to know what you've encountered when you went to the movies, because that's really interesting. I, I don't know why people do weird things at the movies, but they do. Do watch that. I gave it a 7 out of 10. And uh, yeah, please, next time you do go to the movies, just be considerate about everyone around you, because there might be another freak like me sitting there that's like freaking out because you guys won't keep your mouth closed. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.